oh and also on another video i read a comment where someone said is it racist to call someone hukyong and um it really isn't but it depends who you're calling hukyong if you are calling like 19 year old 20 year old you say it to me that's okay but you wouldn't say to your father you wouldn't call your dad's friend hyung it's the same you don't call like a 50 year old black man hukyong that's a, that's a bit rude but it's it's pretty similar to korean culture you don't call your dad's friend like oh hyung no no for me anybody comes to me and says oh hukyong i'm i'm okay my name is Prince. I am from the UK. I am from London. I grew up in Islington. It's not too far from London Bridge. Yes. Uh, I've been in Korea now for 17 months, but I came on holiday to Korea many times uh, since 2013. I get this asked this question a lot. The truth is, I'm a spy. Come to Sea Lab to get all those secrets. <laughs> no, my wife is Korean and we have a daughter, so <laughs> we came all together so that uh, our daughter could experience some um, Korean culture. We met in London, we met in the park, she was just there, the breeze was blowing, the sun was shining, and I saw her. And it was like time stopped. And I could only hear my heart beat. Then I walked up to her to see she was Korean. And I was just like, She laughed and laughed and she thought I was crazy uh, but you know when you're ugly the only thing you can do is make a girl laugh and from there we became friends and we started dating. Ooh, I did a few few different things um, I worked in a phone shop I worked uh, in a food market I worked in a restaurant I taught English um, I did some kind of market research jobs on the side. Because when I was in the UK, I was just 20, 21. So I didn't really have a plan with my life. I was just having, having fun. Now I teach uh, English, even though my English is not that good. Uh, somebody still trusts me to teach them. Very many things that are different. So like. In the UK, we still don't have internet on the train, so you can't use your phone. In the UK, normally you have your book, uh, lots of people are reading or uh, just you're listening to some music or you, people talk quite a lot. So um, it's a bit noisy, but that's okay because there's nothing else to do. But in Korea, I still get surprised when I'm on the train and sometimes it's just completely silent nobody is talking everybody is just on their phone i still can't get used to that and then um everything is quite fast in korea you can go somewhere and okay it gets done in like an hour or two hours but in the uk we have to wait for such a long time even when we go to a restaurant i have no problem waiting 40 minutes for food in a restaurant. Especially if I see it's busy, I have no problem waiting an hour. But in Korea, I see people wait like 10 minutes and oh, where's the food? In Korea, everything is so, it's so quick. Um, and the weather in Korea is so drastic. So I've been here for a year, so I've had four seasons winter, spring, summer, and autumn. In the UK, we have just kind of cold and rainy and warm and rainy, just kind of two different times with a little bit of sun in between. But in Korea, you have 40 degrees in the summer and minus 20 in the winter. In Korea, I have to have padding. I never owned padding before I came to Korea. 
Oh, right, clothes. Korean clothes are smaller than the UK. They are so small. I know I'm not a skinny guy, but I am not XXXXL. I, in the UK, I wear large or extra large. But in Korea, it's XXL is just my normal shirt. And then if I want baggy, I have to get 3XL or 4XL. And then the arms are always short. Arm gets up to here. To, to here. <laughs> Um, let's see, I, I guess ev everything in Korea has been quite, for the most part, a good experience. Um, I've met many nice people and like even uh, last year I was in the hospital for a bit. Um, that was still quite of a good experience even though there were some bad things. The nurses were really kind, the doctors were really good, the service was pretty clean and everything. I guess the only bad experience I have is the train. You know, everything in the UK is very slow and so we can wait. When the train comes, uh, people get on. If it's full, we just wait. We wait for the next one. It's, we have no problem waiting for the next train, especially when the next train is like one minute or two minutes away. The same with the lift. If the lift is full, we wait for the next one or take the stairs. But in Korea, nobody wants to wait. When the train comes, everybody is pushing in, even if there's no space. I really hate that. And then I get like line nine or line one, and then I have people who are leaning on me like I'm a bed or like I'm a pillow. Just because I'm soft doesn't mean that you can lie on me. <gasps> <laughs> oh, and also, my skin is dark. In Korea, a, a lot of the hospitals seem to just take blood by looking at your arm. But obviously, you can't see my veins. So when I like get an IV drip or need to give blood, it's very hard. I didn't used to be afraid of needles before coming to Korea. But since I've come to Korea and every time it's like, Oh no, this is not the right place. Oh no, this is not the right place. And again and again and again. Um, I think I didn't think about this a lot when I was in the UK because London especially is one of the most multicultural cities in the world. So I never thought of myself as different or my wife and I, we are different for having a daughter. It's just very normal. It's, you, you see that everywhere. So, oh, it's not a big deal. But coming to Korea and <laughs> I see that, oh, okay, yeah, we, we are different, you know? And like, uh, again, where we live is quite small. So there are not many, there are not many foreigners there. It's mostly just like all Korean people and then with our daughter as well so we do get a lot of people who like who look at us or who are just very like oh wow you guys are so cool like they they treat us like we are special or diff like like kind of celebrities but we are just the normal people <laughs> i don't see a difference between a two culture family or one culture family it's just a family I haven't experienced anything, which I'm very lucky. Just because you don't experience it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. But you hear stories of kids, you know, be bullying other kids for being different. Um, but that's not just Korea, that's, that's everywhere. There's, in the UK, there are still some people, if they see like a white woman, an Asian man, they get upset. It's not just, just Korea, there are just some people who are stupid. <laughs> I want to do lots of things, actually. My main goal is to be the narrative designer in the video game. Maybe I'll be making video games, or um, might be a manhwa or a director, Kando. Uh, I want to work in entertainment, and I want to just tell lots of stories. I like to talk, and I like to tell stories, so that's, that's my plan. Sarangye!